Are you the 18 pound lobster in your marketplace? Are you the 32 ounce steak with a bone coming out that far off the side? You know, on Facebook, I posted these photos of an 18 pound lobster and a 32 ounce steak. Both were very impressive, both were very expensive. And I asked a question in the post. I said, you know, what do these things have in common and how will the answer to this make a difference for your business? Now, a lot of you guessed things that are obvious, things like they have in common, the fact that they're made of meat, that they were both alive at one point and that they're not likely to be eaten by a vegetarian. Now, some of you went a little deeper in your thought and you came up with things like they're very rare, they're expensive, they're something that you would only enjoy uh, maybe as a celebration meal. And I wanna share with you that my goal for all of my students is for you to become the 18 pound lobster in your marketplace. You so when you see something like that, what do you do immediately? You go, wow, that's so unique, that's so special, I gotta take a picture of it. When a customer meets you, are they immediately struck by your uniqueness in the marketplace? Do you have a compelling brand that separates you from every other salesperson they thought of or that they've met? When you do that, you elevate your value in the marketplace. The other thing that you can do is work on your exclusivity. Not only being unique, but being exclusive, hard to find, rare. You see, when you look at something like an 18 pound lobster, you immediately know this is not something that every restaurant's gonna carry. In your process, do you do things separately and uniquely for your clients that's exclusive, that's unique, that only really you offer? A lot of salespeople don't. And in fact, they have a hard time answering the question, what three things do you do for your clients or with your clients that no one else does, or no one else does at the value that you do? Most salespeople struggle to answer that. They can't come up with even three things. But if you elevate your uniqueness and your exclusivity, you could become a premium thing in the marketplace, just like that lobster and just like that steak. And I want you to do that for your business because I want you to be able to get a premium price for your services. So going forward, consider and add some thought to your process and say, what can I do to elevate my uniqueness and how can I elevate my exclusivity so that I'm working by repeat, by referral, and by appointment only? I look forward to talking to you guys again online soon and seeing your comments and your thoughts. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.